What do you think about our going to the store? Well, I don't know. I think we're on the air. Oh! <laughs> Pastor Bob here with Jan. Hi, PB and J. <laughs> By the way, you look really nice. Oh, thank you, my love. You got dressed up for everybody? Yeah, I did. Well, actually, <laughs> I was recording today for the sermon for um, Sunday. Easter! Yeah, for our active order of worship. Anyway, I did a recording and, I, you know, I was very thankful. I found this old shirt that I'm in more years ago and that old... Decades ago. Yes, decades. And I also found an old suit that I used to wear. And matter of fact, I was thinking about this shirt and tie. I've preached many sermons in that shirt and tie and suit. Anyway, you look really good because you have a Walk for Life t-shirt. Yeah, it's you know, like almost the virtual Walk for Life. And I am raising money to help um, continue our efforts of saving babies and transforming the lives of women. And um, I just wanted to tell you that because of the COVID-19, we are not going to have the actual walk as a gathering, but we can certainly walk individually. And the important thing is, of course, to continue to pray and support the ministry. There were over mm -hmm. 2,400 women that we served last year. 2,400? 2,400 with free pregnancy tests, free STI testing, free ultrasounds, well woman exams. All of that is free. And um, we gave away close to 20,000 diapers. And there were over 500 babies saved from abortion 500, last year. Right around 500. Around so. 500 babies saved from and abortion. And something that's really cool is I, you know, I've been making a lot of phone calls for work and yesterday I spoke to a lady that um, was abortion minded and we missed her stat. She actually chose life for her baby and we hadn't recorded it. So that Whoa. number's one more closer to 500. So anyway, I really appreciate your donations to help us continue serving at women in our community. Thank you. And thank you also for the wonderful way that Christ Community Presbyterian Church responds every month for the diapers. Mm -hmm. Yep. Thank you all very much. Hey, um, this is Wednesday when we're recording this. And Wednesday evening, Heath and Michelle Glandon have decided to put together prayer meeting by Zoom. That'll be fun. I'm not It'll exactly sure It'll be nice to see everybody's face. And we'll see everybody's We don't have face. to know how it works. We don't have to. There are the techies. They there are the techies. It out. So we just, we're just... <laughs> All we do is press a okay. button. <laughs> okay, so there we go. And that's, if you don't know how to do it, just call Heath and he'll show you, he'll run you through the, the steps. But anyway, basically you look at their email and press on that email and it'll take you to Zoom and then... Voila. Voila, you'll be in there. And be sure to make sure you have clothes on. Speaking of voila, how about the Cobbs newsletter? I know. Both Claire Lease and Donald had COVID-19 and are recovering from that. Wow. Just really grateful to hear that they're recovering. So That's right. So continue to pray for them. You continue to pray for there the Cobbs. There are missionaries that we support in France. In Aix-en-Provence. Aix-en-Provence. That's right. I uh, so just want to bring up a word of encouragement. Uh, I don't... If you've been following the CBR Journal, the Community Bible Reading Journal, Jan reads ahead. <laughs> I didn't realize I was so far ahead, but I am ahead. Because I was talking about Josiah today, and Bob's like, did, Where did you are mean, you reading? He, yeah. <laughs> did you mean Hezekiah? I'm like, no, I read about him a long time ago. <laughs> Hezekiah, of course, is a great king because, um, you know, Sennacherib and all the other people from Assyria came to give him a hard time. What did he do? He went to the temple of God. Good example. Instead of worrying about things, just take it and he just laid it out before the Lord. And that's good. Of course, we also saw from 1 Corinthians chapter 3, those words of the Apostle Paul. He says, uh, I planted a Paulus watered and it was God who gives the increase. Always good to remember that God is the one who makes the things grow. Yeah, kind of like this. We just plant seeds. There you go. Right? Yeah. I didn't realize that was going to happen. We didn't plan it that way, but... <laughs> Aren't we cool? <laughs> Not. Not really. Okay. Uh, just keep in mind, we did have a scheduled Good Friday service for this Friday. We do not have a Good Friday service because we will not be meeting at 2310 Nursery Road. However, Jan and I will include some um, thoughts about Good Friday this Friday in our Monday, Wednesday, Friday. 
Pastor is Chad. That's the day before my birthday. I was just going to say, there's something that happens the next day. See, Friday would be, what, the 10th. That would make Saturday the... 11th. 11th. Jan's birthday. Well, that's all we have for today. We appreciate you watching the Pastor's Chat number 9. And trust that you're staying in touch with others. And if you get Washing a... your hands and don't touch your face. Yes. Wear your mask. There you, but we didn't have mask on for this. Oh, that's all right. Oh, that's all right. We swap spit anyway. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Y'all have a good evening. Uh, check it out, the prayer meeting by Zoom, and uh, we'll see you back here on Friday. Bye.